If you're feeling lost and stagnant in your cybersecurity career, this is the podcast for you. Welcome to Impact You Speaks, the podcast. And today I have a special guest with me, your cybersecurity bro, Mr. Jerry Turner. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you for having me. So today we're going to talk about tech. We're going to talk about cybersecurity. And we're also going to talk about the upcoming masterclass that you have. It's called Learn the Secrets to Skyrocket Your Cybersecurity Career. And from what I know, IT and cybersecurity is a growing industry and a lot of people are entering it. So what I know about what you do is that you help new cybersecurity professionals get a more direct path to six figures and earning more income in their careers. So I'm really excited about that because who wants to take a long time trying to get to six figures and more money when there is a more direct path in which you can offer them. So I'm really excited for this uh, podcast and I'm so lucky to have you because this is my husband. If you guys do not know, you probably can tell because it says Jerry and everything on, on his side of the Zoom, but I'm so excited to have him. And so let's just dive right in. So tech careers are a growing industry and they're actually, I feel like, are a very fascinating career. So we're going to talk about tech. We're going to talk about how you can fast track your tech career because your cybersecurity bro, Mr. Jerry Turner has done that. So we're gonna do that. But before we get into his story, I wanna say, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, we invite you to subscribe, like this video. If you like it, you can wait to the end to see if you like it, but you know, we always have to say it in the, in the, in the intro as well. But welcome to the show. So I'm interested to know because I know you, obviously, you're my husband. But um, one of the things I really don't know is how you really got into tech. Because were you always interested in tech? And one of, another thing that I'm curious about is, was tech as big as it is now when you got into tech? So, yeah, um, you know, this is me and tech goes all the way back to like 96, somewhere around those lines. Um, I've, I've always kind of been a little geeky in my own right. And then me and my family, we were lucky enough to be some of the first people in our neighborhood to have one of those mail order computers everybody had back in the 90s. Uh, back in the 90s. So, you know, like I said, we, we had the computer. I was really interested in it. I spent all kinds of time doing random stuff on the internet back before the internet was the internet that we know today. And so that kind of got me started in my, you know, my love of techie type things. And then um, I went into the military and, you know, God bless my father for, for being there, for, for being there to guide me in the right direction. And he, he, you know, he gave me some mentorship back then. He was like, Hey, tech is going to be the big thing. Tech is going to be where you need to go. So, you know, he pointed me in direction of the job I had when I was in the Air Force, which is what, which was my, my, my first time and my first career in tech. Um, it started out, it was called Electronic Switching Systems. And then it had like two or three other names over the course of time. And then by the end of my uh, Air Force career, it was called Cyber Transport Systems. You know, and that was the first, that was my first really ingrained ingrained learning experience when it comes to being in tech and getting into, you know, um, that, that type of field. Mm -hmm. So how has the tech tech industry really changed? Is it because it seems like it's a, like a fast pace for like really changing like day to day type of industry, but I don't know, but like, I can just assume like, is it something that like you really have to stay on top of there's i mean like a, like a lot of things nowadays you are right it is very fast moving there is a lot of change coming um like when i was you know when i first got into tech back back like i said when i went to the air force back in 2000 there was no ai it didn't exist mm -hmm. you know we were we were we were word processing as they call it for a lot of things 
you know, so the internet was a baby at the time, you know, you, there was no social media. So things have, things have evolved a lot in the tech world. Um, there's always going to be some ground level skills that don't change that much. Like, you know, things that you can, ba foundational skills that you can base your, base your IT knowledge on. But as far as special, specializing and things like that, you know, that's where a lot of the change happened is, you know, finding a specialty and keying towards that. Like I said, that's where a lot of the change happened. That's where a lot of you having to be on your toes, you having to constantly be evolving and staying on staying on top of these things is involved is when you get into that specialization part. Mm -hmm. So having the experience that you have in um, cybersecurity and IT, um, you have a no you have a lot of knowledge and where you can help a lot of new or people just that are just wanting to actually get into the industry. You have like a lot of experience in in which you can help people kind of navigate their careers because you've done it and you've done and once you've like committed to actually like being more strategic, you've learned things along the way. Can you share with us um, some things that you are going to have in your master class to help people with a more direct path to really getting to six figures, making more income and actually getting to where they want to go? Sure. So like I said, I got back, I got into tech way back in 2000, you know, when I first got into the military. And then, you know, I continued that when I got out originally in 2008. And, you know, then I went back in, as you know, and then I got back out again. So I had a pretty long winding road within tech. But you definitely don't need to take as much time to get to six figures as it took me to get there. You know, like I like I said, I had a path that was a little bit longer due to due to my history. But, you know, from that, I gained that, that experience. And I kind of figured out there's there's certain key things that you need to key on within your career to get you to those high paying jobs. And I like to I like to describe it as you got to generalize, strategize, then you got to specialize and then prioritize. OK, yeah. I'll get like I don't know how deep you want me to get into that now, or should I save it for the master class? Or <laughs> I think you should you know, save it for the master class. I think that we really just want to kind of like know what the master class is going to entail. Like, so like you had a more, like you said, a more winding road to making six figures, and now you're like really honing in on your career and your actually excelling and so sharing with people a more direct path which will save time headache and a lot of other things I'm sure is very valuable and like I think that even for new people that are new to the career field that there's other things that perhaps they might consider like how much of a role does that play and getting earning more money getting to where you want to go because here's the thing I think that a lot of people in whatever career field can get on a hamster wheel and be spinning their wheels and how do you move that forward how do you get to making more money in the fastest way possible because I think that most people want to get there the fast way and the more direct path versus going down all these different avenues in which happens to a lot of us because it does. The two things you mentioned are um, very, they're very, very important when it comes to progressing in, in um, information technology right now, um, right now, especially, um, you know, like you mentioned networking and certifications. Those are two humongous things that you can utilize to, you know, jumpstart your career and get your career to that next level. Because most people are going to start, most people are going to start their careers. They're not going to be experts in anything. You know, you're you're just starting out. So, you know, just to get a little 
just go get a little a little bit into the master class. That's where you have to general. That's where you generalize. That's where you're generalizing. You know, you're generalizing. You're getting that that foundational knowledge and things like that. And that's where most people are going to start at. And it's and, and it's actually a good place to start because you you are going to want like even though you want to get to the big money, you got to show the people that you have that foundation that foundational knowledge first. You know, to to build up that you built upon that because that's still something that you that you're going to need to know even when you're doing the specialization that I mentioned it before. And that's another big part of getting to that money is getting those certifications and showing that you, you know, showing your knowledge and that you can spec that you specialize in something, something specific. And that's what sort that's what certifications help you do. They help you prove that, that you know that stuff. So those, those are definitely big things when it comes to you making that money and proving that you're worth that money. And just like anything else, you know, in any other any other field, networking and having people know your name is never a bad thing, unless it's for unless it's for bad reasons. Just to throw that out there. But um, you definitely want to make a name for yourself and have people recognize you, because more than likely, when you, when you're in your generalization phase, you're going to be working for a company that has jobs that you'd want to do later on down the road down the road when you're specializing so you want to make a name for yourself immediately by by showing showing that you're a hard worker showing that you're willing to put in the work you know personality is never a bad thing because if people generally like you as a person they're going to be more than likely to want to help you out too so you know you got to set that found you got to set that foundation in your networking career too because like like I said you are kind of down there and more than likely a lot of people are going to start start somewhere like IT support or help desk and things like that and that is a perfect opportunity for you to get people to know who you are for positive reasons because you're going to be going out speaking to these people trying to fix these people's computers that could be higher up in the food chain within your company and you want to go there make a good impression show them that you're show them a uh, personality and things like that. So that way they remember you for being an, a, a, a good person, a fun person or whatever, and also being a hard worker, somebody who's willing to go the extra mile to help them out and things like that. You know, So then when you're trying to get to that specialization phase, they can say, oh yeah, I remember that guy. I remember that he helped me fix my computer. He was excellent. He was so nice. He was personable. He was willing to go the extra mile to help me get my stuff done. He explained things to me, blah, 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 things like that. Mm -hmm. And you want to put that you want to put that foot forward because that's going to help you in the long run. Mm -hmm. OK, so I'm curious to how important mentorship is when it comes to cybersecurity, when it comes to that career field. How important is that? I would say that mentorship mentorship can be important for a couple of different reasons. Um, we, like we mentioned before, like networking is a big networking is always a way to help you get ahead and normally if you are getting mentored if you are getting you know some guidance from somebody who they're going to be higher up in, in the cybersecurity food chain than you are so they can also help you to network with the right people they can also put you in front of people they can they can help you in that aspect also and they're also where you're trying to go so they have knowledge and they have experiences and they have a track record of success, obviously, because they got where they got. And then they can help point you in the direction of things that can help you get there also. Because, like I said, eventually to make the big bucks, you're going to have to specialize. You're going to have to, to find your niche in, say, cybersecurity or some other form and specialize in that. And, you know, they're more than likely going to be somebody who is already made it that made it that way. So they can help you with that. They can help you along that path, tell you, you know, what they did, what they possibly did that worked for them, what didn't work for them. And they can help you not make some mistakes that they might have made to that derailed their their development, getting there. As, like, like we mentioned, you want to try to get there as fast as possible. So you don't want to hit those derailments. You want to make the you want to make the right steps and they can help you make those right steps. So like. That sounds really interesting. And I think that it's really important to um, whatever industry you're in to have a more direct path because 
you know, I think that a lot of people get into a career, they, you know, they get um, their credentials, they get um, certifications and things like that. And they're excited. But then it's like, what do I do now? Like, so it's like that mentorship is super important, I feel, to really get you the fastest way possible to where you want to go. So I'm interested to know what are some things that will be included in the masterclass? Oh, like I mentioned before, we're going to talk about one of the main parts of the masterclass is, you know, is the path to get a path, to, career path to get you there. You know, during the masterclass, we're going to talk about, you know, some some tips, some tips for you. I got like we talked about the steps that I mentioned earlier, but then we're also going to talk about some tips for your resume, you know, how to highlight, how to highlight, how to highlight and structure your resume in a way to help you, you know, land these jobs. Um, some things about we'll talk about we'll talk about some you know where to look where to look for these jobs you know how to find them where they're at you know some things along those lines we'll, we'll talk a little bit about contracting in general you know the contract field that is an area that a lot of people would like to get into and it's also an area where networking helps you a lot in the contract world so it's a so we'll talk about that and how you know how network how to network within the contract world and things like that, because that is actually um, a part of my story is I was really good at networking within my little, within my, within my circle, within my contract. So pretty much every job that I got once, once, once I made the decision that I wanted to chase the money, as they call it, every job I got was almost was a result of networking in some form or fashion. So, you know, we'll talk about, we'll talk about stuff like that, you know, so it'll be, it'll be like a little min, mini mentor session for everybody. So I can mm -hmm. impart some of the knowledge that I've gotten along the way. Cause like I said before, like I started out in IT in 2000. So I, I made mistakes along the way. I didn't know exactly where to go, how to do things, what's, what's the best things to put on resumes and things like that initially. So it took me a while to get to the point where I am now, you know, I know you, I know you remember when I first got out the military, how stagnant my career really was at the time, you know, so I didn't know the thing. I didn't know these things. I didn't know, you know, some of these, some of these IT tips and things mm -hmm. like that until I got, until I gained the experience from making the mistakes. Yeah. And I think it's important, like if you're feeling lost, if you're lacking confidence in your in your career right now, if you're feeling stagnant, like uh, this, your cybersecurity bro just said, this is the master class for you. You definitely need to get in this master class because you'll learn things that you need to do. You'll learn a more direct path to get to where you want to go faster, but also you'll learn things that you need to avoid. And one of the things that you, that I heard you say is something along the lines of uh, your reputation, because I don't know, I don't know how it is in that career field, but sometimes when it comes to certain career fields, like your reputation means a lot. And so how to network, how to uh, navigate that world, things to avoid, a more direct path. If you're looking to fast track your career, this is definitely the masterclass for you. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we close for your masterclass? It's uh, happening January 17th. So we'll leave the link below if you're interested. So, um, and also check out impactyouspeaks.com. Um, we also have information on the master classes, um, all of our master classes that are going to be happening on impactyouspeaks.com. But is there anything else that you want to, would like to add? I mean, just like, you know, just to put a bow, to put a bow on all this, this whole thing. Like I said, like I've been, I've been around for a while in the IT community. I've made the mistakes in my job search. You know, I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have mentorship coming through IT. You know, that's partially a, a fault of my own. And I wish I would have, because I think I would have been able to get where I am faster if I would have, 
if I would have, you know, seek, seek, seek out that kind of information, that kind of guidance. So, you know, you definitely, it's definitely a plus to have somebody there who can infor inform you of the right moves, what the wrong move might be, you know, to, to, to just to help guide you. Because it's not, it's not a complicated process to get, to get, to get into IT and to start making money. It's just, you need some, a lot, of, a lot of us need help with that process. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. And again, we'll leave a link below for that masterclass happening January 17th. For more, check us out at impactyouspeaks.com and we check you guys in the next video. Peace.